Konasatatu, Jerome Hughes here, Donegal News, part of the Northwest News Group. And of course, just to mention briefly that the Dairy People Donegal News comes out every Monday and Thursday. You can get a copy in your local outlet. Just to explain, today now is Wednesday, the 8th of November, and I've come down here to the Pole Star Roundabout in Letterkenny. And the couple I'm going to speak to don't mind me giving the location because they want to highlight their case. It's a young couple. We have got Martin Riley, who is originally from the travelling community. His girlfriend, Sinead Brown, who is uh, not originally from the uh, traveller community. But basically, they've been together, a young couple, for the past 15 years, had lived in Dublin. But for the past eight years in Donegal, have been, they had accommodation in d various locations from time to time. But technically, for the past two years, they've been on the housing waiting list and they consider themselves homeless for the past two years. So they're trying to get some help from Donegal County Council and so on. And I've been speaking to them about their situation. We're living in a caravan here, as you can see. There's no running water. Um, we have a generator over there. It's not strong enough for the plugs, obviously, for a kettle and a toaster or an air fryer to make a bit of food in the, uh, in the trailer. So once the generator is put on and if there's a kettle or a toaster plugged into it, it'll knock off because it'll air it. So I've no running water then. So there's no, all it is is a bed, like an, a bit of heating, a small bit when the generator is on. There's rats and mice. Last night we drove back. Uh, we were coming in at about 8 o'clock. I've videos here on my phone. I've pictures here on the phone. I can show you all them as well now but the blankets now we go in there them blankets will be damp because of the cold it's true the whole night whereas obviously we knock off the gas heat in the night time because you couldn't leave that on it's too dangerous the promised houses before all this war started and as soon as that came we were just completely put off do you swear these emails didn't exist but we have them there for you to look at if you want when we put this online people are going to say why don't you get a job why don't you get your own house you know the usual things but i guess when you're in this situation it's very difficult to get employment, it's very difficult to... Yeah. I haven't even got an address for starters. Um, the, the social is being cut so many times because there's no address, there's letters being sent to. So where are they going? They're going to the old addresses. The more I say this, the more no one is listening either. So to go, I've, I've diagnosed with arthritis in the legs, it's getting worse now with the winter. In response to our story, a spokesperson for Donegal County Council said the council does not comment on individual cases. Jerome Hughes, Donegal News.